this is what we're marking right here. Look at the size of this thing. Yo, that's a big perch. This is a nice one. We might put him on a stringer. That's a nice perch. No, a big bluegill. Perch and bluegill together. Oh yeah, look at that thing, guys. That's a nice one there. That's a really nice bluegill. I'm gonna get him, he gut hooked it too, kinda. Get him unhooked. That's a nice fish. Keep him. I'm on a fish finder, guys. It's almost like ice fishing. This is a nice bluegill, another nice one. Let's go, get him in. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll put him on a stringer. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one there. We'll get him on a stringer. See in the fish finder here? I usually mark them and I drop it right on top of their heads. It's almost like ice fishing and it works. See if there's any more, drop it down on their heads and wait. Bluegills, guys, I want to a perch. Yep, oh, nope, bluegill. It's weird, I, my lure is down there for a while. I, I mean, my bait, and I, get it. I wasn't getting any hits. Then all of a sudden, boom, I got this guy. Look at that, big bluegill. They're still down there, look, see that's fish all down there. Bluegill perch, probably mostly bluegill. Get this guy unhooked and on a stringer. This is how you get him. Oh yeah, another beautiful sunfish, bluegill. Wow, look at that thing. They're all beat up, pipe them after they're spawn fighting. No way, there's a lot of them in here. This is probably the biggest bluegill of the day. Look at that thing. That is a big bluegill. I'm not, I don't keep a ton, I just keep only so much. Another one. Uh, oh yeah. This one I'm gonna throw back. I don't keep all of them. Yeah, that guy, he's going back. We go. I was marking them. I'm like, what are they going to hit? They're all beat up from the spawn. You could tell. Oh yeah, that's another big one. My warrant's back too. Oh. Yep, spawn. No. Uh, something had a hold of this guy. That's a nice one there. Oh yeah, that's a pike or a bird. Might be a bird. He got seven on a stringer, including that perch. So keep a little bit more, and this should be perfect. This is a big freaking Julio. Holy shit. Oh my, well he's gut hooked too probably. It, yep. This is a big blue. This is a beautiful Julio. Wow, I, that's a beautiful fish. I love these Julio. Man dude, this thing fought like it's freaking like a nice bass. Beautiful sunfish, Julio. Look at that, beautiful fish. That's a big sunfish right there. I see those things shooting up, and see in the distance, I look, there's a fish down there. He he might not be right here, but he's probably in this vicinity. But that's how I've been doing them, searching for them and dropping it right on top of their heads. It's almost like ice fishing, really. Yeah, some, they're, still, they're, they're around, they're in this area. My fish finder's picking them up in the area, so. Let's see if we can get a couple more. That's a nice fish down there. See my fish finder? That's pretty cool. I thought maybe this would be a true bluegill, but it's a hybrid. Oh yeah, look at that freaking thing. You can tell the big ones. The big ones don't steal your bait as much. The little ones do. I feel little nibbles. I, I pull my line up. I don't even try it. Because I don't have, I just, <laughs> my last warm, so. That thing is big. It has a big freaking bluegill. That's really big. Get him on a stringer. Right there. That's, that's fish down there. Probably right by my lure, but they're not hitting it. <clears throat> It's almost like the shell. Oh, oh, I had to hit <clears throat> a small one. That's what you do. You see that you mark them and you drop it down. It's almost like the shell wicked tuna, how they fine tuna. They mark them and just drop the bait down right in front of their face. <clears throat> That's basically what I'm doing with these bluegill. Like they're here. Yep, there's some down there now. They're out in the distance, but they'll probably come to this thing. I drop it down. Ooh, true bluegill. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, I love these fish. I love bluegill. Everybody starts out on bluegills. You fish for them when you're two years old and freaking when you're 82 years old. That's a beautiful fish. Still got my bait. Not as big as the other one, but it's still pretty big. This is nine, I might keep one more. Or two, I don't know, it depends, we need flay, so. There we go, nice. Dude, it's by a pike. Was not expecting this. What is this fish? This is some really big. He hit it, I'm telling you, he hit this thing. Guys, he's, look, look at him tow my kayak. 
I think it's a big pike. Whoa. I can't even move this thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look. My stringer's in the water. Oh my god. This thing is huge. Really big fish. Like, I mean, really big. I could barely move it. Oh my god. That's probably one of my biggest pike. Wow. That thing is mass. He's gonna freak you out. He ain't done. He ain't done. He splashed, he splashed water on me by the boat. That's how big he is. Oh my god. This thing is ginormous. I mean, he is so freaking fat. It's not even funny. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Holy hell. On a freaking piece of worm. You gotta be kidding me. He's in here for these freaking bluegill. Yep. Oh, ah, ah. Wow, that's a big pike. Oh my god. That's freaking huge. He's freaking out. He's freaking out. Oh my god. He off, barely, off. Hook is off. This is crazy shit going on right now, guys. Holy crap. Everything's good? Oh my god. This is a giant pike. This is probably one of the biggest pike I ever caught. Look at the size of this pike. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is freaking huge. Massive pike. I want to get him in the water at least. I say he's about 42 inches. So guys, that's just all I want to tell you something. When you're fishing with live bait for like bluegill and panfish, you never know what to expect. That pike is probably hunting for perch, bluegill, bass. That's probably the biggest pike I ever caught. The one I caught not too long ago this season was big. This thing was just, he had to be almost 20. This thing was probably almost 20 pounds. This fish was so heavy. I see between probably 18, 20. This fish was a very big fish. Made up for the muskie I lost this year. You didn't see that, but that was a trophy pike. That's a trophy pike around here. You know, Canada, that's a giant pike, but I'm gonna show you one to catch him on. I caught him on that warm, a piece of warm. If you get something, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's something small, a little small little thing, you get it in front of something's face, it will hit it. I'm telling you, I got a lot of big fish on small stuff, so I might keep fishing. I don't know, but what a great day it was today. Wow, great bluegill, and probably one of my biggest fish, one of my biggest fish in PA. I a bass. On my fish finder. Oh, yeah. I think he's out now. Yep, he's out. Look at this, guys. A pike in a bass. Man, what a great day. There you go, guys. Pike candy. Yeah, pike, that pike would eat it. Just to, to let you guys know, this fish is just as long as that pike's head, which is crazy. What happened was, guys, now I'm not getting any bluegill, just that bass. But plus, I'm, I'm at a live bait. But, like, that pike, I'm, I'm not really marking them either. That pike probably spooked them out of here. So when one lake, actually the one video I made, that perch video, usually if you catch a, like at that lake, you pick, catch a pickerel, you won't catch any perch in a while because those pickerel hunting those perch. Same thing here, that big ass northern's hunting those blue, you know, um, um, some perch. And he probably kicked them out of here, which is, I take that pike over any of these blue, you know, but. That's what happens a lot. And that's why sometimes now we gotta search some more areas, but I'm probably almost done here. I might have nine on the string, that's plenty. Been on a troll now, guys. Troll on the swim bait. I think he's a perch. He's fighting like a perch. Depends, we might keep him. It depends how big he is. We'll see. Oh yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah, we'll keep him. A little smaller one, but I might put him on a stringer. That's a nice one though. I mean, he's nice, but he's smaller. And then the troll. The troll's getting something. They're on a perch, probably. This one feels pretty decent, too. Oh, yeah. Ah. Release him. We'll release this guy. Smaller one. All right, guys. Here's the bluegill. Some really 
big blue gears. Actually, his push is freaking big. Where's he at? Here he is. Look at this thing. That's a big perch. Big blue gear. Now I'm gonna get home. Clean these things up. What a great day of fish. I, I was not expecting that huge pike. That's probably my biggest pike to date, I would say. Definitely my biggest pike. Um, so I got to my biggest pike this year. I'm really I'm really happy about that. But gonna get home, get these things cleaned, and yeah, what a great day it was. Really great day of catching jumbo boogie and perch and a jumbo jumbo northern pike. All right, home now, guys. Freaking big giant blue gear here. Look at that. And great day. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to clean them here. It's pretty simple. All you do, well, this is what I do. Go behind the fin like this. Go down only so far. When you hit the backbone, stop. You'll feel it. Turn the blade and run down the backbone. Run back the backbone to here. Flip it over, cut the meat off, and voila. That's what you'll have good piece of meat look at the size of that thing that thing is big man big fish get these guys flayed up wow oh my god that thing is freaking big that perch is freaking big a small walleye get them cleaned really big fish really big fish all right got these all flayed up now nice really nice flays off these bluegill really nice now the ice down in cool water and yeah time to cook them up i don't know what to do with them yet but nothing going on this, these are really gonna be really good eating good eating good eating flay all right guys cooking the fish now it's been a long time it's like i cut those fish in like mid-june now it's uh october but anyways guys um we're gonna beer batter these fish now we don't we never really beer batter fish too often i think once before we did which was pretty decent but we're gonna try it now we're trying this recipe now but yeah getting getting the uh, pot heat up now hopefully it's good hopefully I, i'm hoping it is but yeah i think it will be good but other than that these fish won't take long to do beer bad i know it like frying fish in this they, it, even with regular breading it don't take long fish so gonna get this done and hopefully it'll taste good hopefully here's the coating here guys so what i'm gonna do is Basically, you put the fish in, in the beer batter. Then right after that, we we'll slowly dip it in the fryer. Hopefully, this, this is good, but I'm, I'm hoping it ends good. I, I think it will. I think it's going to be good. All right, guys, get a couple done here. See, these do not take long at all. These look pretty good. Pretty good. All right, guys, got the fish done here. I tried one. It's really good, actually, so I'm glad it's really good. But, yeah, this this worked out good. I'm glad it worked out good. But, anyways, guys, um, we're having as a side dish, uh, baked potatoes. A great side dish to fish or really anything one of the best of all time but anyways guys great dinner here what's what's gonna be a great dinner great day of fish a phenomenal day of fishing probably one of my best days of the summer all year honestly it was a really really good day catching my biggest pike to date which was was phenomenal I, that was crazy on a little itsy bitsy warm like that's crazy but just a great day of fishing catching some really big bluegill i showed you my, one of my favorite ways to catch big bluegill on the fish finder with live bait you can't beat that honestly it's really good so, i mean there's other ways but that's probably one of the best all-around ways to catch big big bluegill but anyways guys hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one later guys